Hello, welcome to 24th Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about the concept of predestination? Is God a selfish dictator or is he a loving provider? Do you want to know the answer? Then stay tuned. This week's theme is who we are. We are secured. And today's verse is from Romans 8.30. Let's go to the first section. Exposition. Let's read Romans 8.30. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Now we can see the chain of God's grace that he uh, orchestrates the process of salvation. Now he predestines, he chooses us before we choose him. Right? He predestined, he also called, intentionally called those who, who, whom he predestined. And those he called, he also justified. He makes them right in front of him. And also, he, uh, when, whom he justified, he also glorified. He shares his glory with those whom are justified. So he makes them, he makes us to be more like him. Him. So starting from predestination all the way to glorification, everything he governs. Now in our, in our perspective, that we accept Jesus, right? And then, you know, we endure till the end. But beyond what we can do, God is the one who predestines and God is the one who glorifies us. So it is really by the sovereign grace of God. How does this verse make you feel? Do you feel like God is like a controlling dictator who rules over you and you are like a robot or a puppet which has no will at all? Well, that's not the point of the argument in this verse, but it is to show what the sovereign grace of God is like. Normally, a dictator has a negative connotation that he or she manipulates people for his or her own selfish gain. We cannot find any love for us from the selfish dictator. However, that's not the case with God. Not selfishly, but sacrificially, He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. In love, He predestined us. In love, He calls, justifies, and glorifies us. God takes care of our salvation from the beginning to the end with His mighty love. This gives us a sense of comfort and security. Imagine that you go on a trip that you have never been on. If you are adventurous, you might be excited, but for people who, don't, who do not like uncertainty, they may panic. For my 20th wedding anniversary trip with my wife, we went to France. It was the first time for both of us traveling in Europe, so we were nervous. But we had an old friend who lives in Lyon, France. Big shout out to my friend Clément. We met him there and he let, he let us spend a night in his home. Not only that he took us on a tour of Lyon, he planned everything from the beginning to the end of that tour. It was so comforting because I did not have, any, I did not have to worry about what to do, where to go, or what to eat because we are in good hands. Should I call my friend a selfish dictator on the trip? No, not at all. I call him the perfect guide and provider. When you are helpless or clueless, mighty helping hands comfort you the most. Salvation is what we cannot achieve on our own. We are completely helpless and clueless in salvation because of our weakness and wickedness. But God planned everything for our salvation as we saw in today's verse. It should give us the greatest comfort and security. So He is not a selfish dictator. He is the perfect guide, and provider. Therefore, trust in the Lord who saves us from the beginning to the end. By the way, how does this four chain of God's grace comfort you? Please leave your comments below. Remember the key words here. Predestined, called, justified, glorified. So the main idea is God predestined, called, justified, and glorified us. Now, Romans 8.30. Romans 8 talks about the sovereignty of God. Now, number 8 is like an infinite sign, right? Number 3 is the number of Trinity. 
Now, number so it really talks about God here, who God is, the sovereignty of God. Now, number zero, if you put it this way, zero, you know, God predestines, God calls, and God justifies, and God glorifies us perfectly. He works by His sovereign grace. So today's verses, Romans eight thirty. Now read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and recite the verse word by word. Pause the video, please. And let's fill in the blanks and check it. And those whom he, he also, and those whom he called, he also, and those whom he justified, he also. The answer is predestined, called, justified, glorified. And today's verse is, yes, Romans 8, 30, 830. All right, great job. You memorized 61 verses already. Please take a few minutes to review from day one. As you review them, please meditate on them and pray over the verses that God would use you as you obey those verses. The verse you obeyed will be put in your heart and you will not forget it. You will experience tremendous blessing each day. Also, make sure to put your unique icon or emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below. Tomorrow, we'll learn another strong truth about security in Christ Jesus from Romans 8.39. So click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also, watch the Day 61 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible. You will get the big picture of the Bible as you get the detailed picture of each verse through this video. Alright, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.